So during the seminar, you have uh, explained your new yeah, method. Yeah. And uh, if you follow that method, you will always reach to the correct value. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me something about your about this new method? Okay. Um, actually speaking, the this is not. Uh, it's a new method anyways, but it's uh, basically the Hanumanian principles. Mm -hmm. uh, I just uh, made it categorized or make made it in a structure because the people are uh, you know confused about reading all the chronic diseases and uh, you know organon and all people can't able to collect all the all the things what Hanuman meant to be done in a homeopathic uh, prescription. Mm -hmm. So this is like uh, what you, uh, what I did is, uh, you know, it's a grading of symptoms. Uh, if you are taking a case and you can grade the symptoms, I have given uh, four grades, like a super grade, high grade, medium grade, and a normal grade, according to the hierarchy of the symptoms and according to the core of the patient. So it depends upon how much importance is that symptom in a particular case. So if you, if you are aware of Anyway, you guys are all aware of what to be taken and not. But the thing is, if you have that uh, the particular formula or the particular scheme, uh, it would be easier for you to uh, look after the symptoms. And uh, even even after repertorization, you will get a clear picture of uh, which medicine you have to give. Mm -hmm. And even this uh, scheme is helpful for uh, as a tool. Because when you are taking a case, if the scheme is there, you can ask the particular symptoms to the patients. Mm -hmm. If a diabetic ulcer, if the diabetic patient, if he's a, he has a pain and it's sensitive, it's good. Because the, the, the vitality is reacting, right? This, this, this is the eruption. So you can see the eruption with pus, okay? The pus and after the medicine see it's cured it's been cured from the center see it's going up full of granulation tissue this is called granulation tissue so i said to uh, apply see this this these things are pus after the medicine this is coming out as exudates you know the exudates so you have to clean that otherwise the no, the granulation tissues will not come up so you can use echinacea for that in this case, I used directly. I didn't, uh, you know, dilute it because the patient is not having any pain or sensitive sense. So I just used directly, and it's coming down. See, it's totally going. It's it's healing. These are these these things are called granulation tissues. It's very good. You have to look for the granulation tissues in a in a case of diabetes ulcer or ulcers which are having, you know, a lesser blood circulation. It's very important. And this is almost healed, 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 yes, yeah, healed. It took almost one month because the patient is like, you know, it's 75 year olds and long term diabetes. I think more than 40 years she's having diabetic. She, no, 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 she's answering to me, see, she's answering as well, but it's difficult for her. You, see, she's answering, but it's very low and she's not looking. And this case, in 14 days, she became normal. I will show the, the pictures. This was the first day. And see, after the first dose, see, it's dried up. Hmm? See, it's coming down. See, see, it was here here see it confirmed to here see it's getting clear it's getting clear clear almost gone that's good <laughs> she's good <laughs> what medicines in 14 days yeah yeah no, it's not big thing. In 14 days, you can cure a case of shingles. But meanwhile, she she did not have any pain. That's very, very important when you treat herpes zoster. Because herpes zoster is notorious for having immense pain. Uh, uh, I will show a cough.
വെള്ളം കൊടുത്തു വെള്ളം കൊടുത്തു ചുമയ്ക്കുമ്പോ വലിച്ചോളാം This is after medicine, last one. What is this? What sort of cough is this? You are asking about the cough, huh? This is inspiratory woof, right? Inspiratory woof. <laughs> <coughs> that is inspiratory woof. This is a case of, it's like breathing difficulty. Uh, taking allopathic medicines and not relief usually starts with coughing. Must sit up during the cough, aggravation at night, sleep during, and warm room aggravates. Mild child desires cold drinks. This is the, the case. I got a video, so you can see. And why not sepia? Sepia is covering all the things, right? See? Phosphorus is not covering respiration difficult to warm room aggravation. That's why phosphorus is not coming up because phosphorus is amelioration by that. In acute diseases, you should be, you should be cautious regarding the, the symptoms of the patient which supports, supports the, the, the disease, right? That is amelioration or aggravation. That's very important with acute diseases. Every other month you have to go for the, you know, uh, the glucose test and all. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it is okay for the, the consecutive six months, you can tell that it's controlled. Apart from that, the, the important thing is when you are treating a diabetes, the problem is with the food and, uh, you know, the regimen and the exercise. It's very important because the food what you are taking is very important, especially due, in the Indian standards, they are using a lot of grains. Three times, four times, they are taking grains, rice, with white rice and all. They are very, everything they, uh, you know, they eat, they, it includes the white rice. Even for the breakfast, if lunch and the dinner, even they, they take the wheat. Wheat and rice are not, you know, that much diff different. Sometimes the wheat has got more glycemic index than the rice. Sometimes the wheat is having more glycemic index. So, better, uh, I, will, I will advise the people to restrain all such, such food like, you know, with uh, white rice and uh, most probably the, um, the grains. Uh, I will ask them to stop. If, if they want to take that with bran, the, the, the rice with the bran, you will get a, a whole grain or a brown rice you will get from there. So, and uh, avoid all the, uh, you know, the, the fast foods. Fast foods are very dangerous. The biscuits, rusk, all these things are very dangerous. Ice creams, uh, all this, I, I will ask them to restrain from this. Otherwise, you can't able to control the diabetes because, sorry? All the good stuff. Ah, all the good stuff. <laughs> It's supposed to be the good stuff, that's all. <laughs> so it's, it's difficult to control if they are taking all these things, you know, especially, especially the dinner. Because that is the, that is the uh, two marks. Uh, like the generals, that is a medium grade. So most probably, you know, we are good in taking the medium grade symptoms, right? Because the physical things, we, we will ask them. But for the, the correct core, we need a high grade and super grade. High grade, the thing is, see, the super grade, it is easy. Because it is easy to know a patient is idiotic or intelligent, artistic or benevolent. It is easy. But when it comes to the third grade, three, three marks or the high grade, emotional, emotional that is difficult. For that, you need an objective study. You have to ask the, you know, the relatives or the people who are with them. But the super grade, it is good because for the super grade, you can, uh, you can directly ask them 
or you, you from the, the, the occupation they are doing, from the, you know, the activities, from uh, talking to them, you can know that, whether the guy is a high IQ, artistic, like that. So, the generals, the, the importance of the two marks, two marks symptom, the, the, moderate, the medium grade is that it will be clear. Because the, pay, the person will clearly tell what is that. You don't have to assume. Because assumption is a big pitfall in the case taking. If you assume the general, that means you destroy the case. But the physical generals, you don't have to assume. Because the pay, how is your menses? Oh, my menses is protracted. How is your mood during menses? I am very bad at the menses. How, how is your, uh, what is your desire? I desire, uh, I, I would like to take salt. What you don't take, uh, I don't like oysters. That's, that's very clear because that symptoms you will get very clearly. But the, the, the emotional sphere that is the high grade, it is difficult. So be cautious when you are taking the high grade. Because if you have a problem with the high grade, it is three marks. So there will be chances for getting the wrong medicines. We have a lot of cases of psoriasis cured cured cases in which you can't find all these things maybe a little bit of change from the home maybe a little bit of love disappointment with the you know mother sister or even the romantic relationship i have i have found in many patients uh, they have a history of disappointment by from love it's not uh, you know cliche it's not mandatory but maybe 80 percentage of cases you can find love disappointed in psoriasis cases you just ask them Likewise, in thyroid, hypothyroid cases, you have some sort of conflict with the authority. Because the people who, ha who, who has got the thyroid, hypothyroidism, normally it will happen after, you know, they, there will be a change in the lifestyle. Maybe after the, you know, after the marriage, maybe after, you know, get adolescent, they will have some conflicts with the authority. Maybe they will change the, after getting a transfer from the office they were working with, was, which was normal condition, they change to another office, the authority will be, you know, uh, suppressing them. Then there is a chance of getting, it's not cliche, it's not like something which is, you know, but when you, when you go through the cases, you will get all, the, all sorts of things. So you can, it will be easier for you to know which is the maintaining cause. And you have to tell them to remove that maintaining cause. Otherwise, it won't, we, won't, we can't be able to cure that. Now she is participating in marriage. She is smiling. Before that, it was like a, you know, mummified or mortified like that because of that. Now she could able to realize that this is the, uh, this is the world. This is, the world is like this. This is the life and she could able to realize. So the, the importance is when, if on the other hand, if she, she had gone for some sort of insulin or whatever, what happens? She will degrade, right? She will degrade and degrade and degrade. That's, that's what homeopathy offers to the society. That's what the, the, the principle of homeopathy and that's what the, the goodness of homeopathy. We can't able to treat, we can't able to cure all the patients. No, it's not possible because maybe the doctors are not that much, you know, into that because the, the rapport and the harmony should be there. Sometimes uh, according to the, you know, sometimes the maintaining cause will be there. So we can't able to remove the maintaining cause, but most of the cases, you can do that.